Shalom, Israel. It's Melanie Wisdom. Um, I'm making this video because it is something that I wanted to share with you all that I seen that I actually tried that I could tell that it actually is going to do the job that they're saying it does. So basically, um, I was on YouTube and there was a guy that posted a video um basically boiling water putting like orange pills or yeah he used orange pills um and he boiled it and then after he boiled it he pretty much put his face over the pot and let the steam go up into the nostrils and it's supposed to clear up everything if you congest it um uh basically he's saying it's a preventative measure for this coronavirus because we know that um steam you know like steam alone it it goes it helps your respiratory system it helps with uh breathing it helps patients that's in respiratory distress um it clears the nasal cavity and we know that this coronavirus forms in your nasal cavity so it'll get up and behind there your sinus and that's where it lays dormant and starts to grow and spread to the lungs but basically this steam using this steam water goes straight up and it'll clear out everything like clear your nose clear your throat you just feel i'm telling you 10 times better it even if you you got sinuses you know because seasons is changing so a lot of people gonna be dealing with sinus issues and stuff it's good First of all, I don't put anything on this earth above the Most High Yahweh. He is the one that is going to keep you through the midst of these perilous times. So, But I did want to share this with you because I tried it. Because I've been congested and I know it's my sinuses or whatever. I ain't claiming it ain't my sinuses, but they've been it's been irritating, been real stuffed up and stuff. So I tried this steam water. I put lime, lemon... And I put some essential oils in there. I did it for 20 minutes. And it's amazing. <laughs> it cleared all that up. Like all of it. It works or else I wouldn't be doing this video. So for those of you who are out there that's not feeling well. Or that's feeling fine. But want to like just preventative measures. You know because we know this coronavirus attacked the respiratory system. And shuts it down basically. But this steam water. It does the opposite of what this virus does. So it keep you clear. It allow you to breathe good. It unclog your sinuses. If you stuffy, any of that, it's gonna do justice. So, with that being said, of course I got some scriptures for y'all and Proverbs where we talk about our health and we talk about wisdom and understanding. So it's Proverbs chapter four. Sorry, my eyes itching. Um, and I think I'm gonna start. At verse, I was just reading. I'll start at verse 20. So Proverbs 4 and 20. Uh, it says, My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them and health unto their flesh. So, did y'all hear that? This is wisdom. We're we talking about wisdom. So, you begin to find wisdom. And you start to have a greater understanding. It says that... I'm going to read that again. Verse 22. Or 21. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them. And health to all their flesh. So... We know this Bible is going to keep you. The word of Yahweh will keep you in these perilous times. The key is to repent. Repent of your wickedness. Repent of your wicked ways. Turn away. Get out of Babylon. Get out of her. Get out of her. Stop living deliciously and repent. Because we are living in end times. And this is just the beginning of sorrows. Mark 24. It's, it, t it tells you that this is the beginning of sorrows. This is a pestilence. This is not the only pestilence that's coming. There's more to come. 
waves that will be bigger. So I just had to get this out to y'all because it's serious business. It's serious time. It's time to Israel. It's time to repent. It is time to repent. Get up out of Babylon. Get out of her. Repent. Turn from your wicked ways. And turn to the most high. Bow down. Worship Yahweh Almighty. Bow down and worship him. Keep these law statutes and commandments. You know, keep keep the Sabbath. Keep these holy feast days. I don't know how many of you know, but um, the Passover is getting ready to approach us very quickly. Um, first week of April. I am doing a video on that. It'll probably be tomorrow. Because um, that new moon, our new moon is in a couple days. So our new moon is a new month, is a new year and a new month to us. So therefore, it's our New Year's. So the heathen New Year's is January 1st, right? That's not our New Year's, Israel. That's not our New Year's. Our New Year's is in the spring and it's getting ready to approach us. So, um... I had to come to y'all, tell y'all about this. Uh, hopefully you got an ear to receive and take heed and listen to the words that's being spoken. Um, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go on and subscribe. Hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Go on ahead and leave some comments down below. Um, if you, there's another alternate that you can do other than boiling the water. If you have a humidifier, which I'm doing mine right now. I'll just kind of show y'all. There's the humidifier right there. So you can use your humidifier. You don't have to boil the water on the stove. Um, I just had to share this. This is something I can't keep to myself. I just had to share it. So thanks for watching. As always, Shalom Israel.